Hello friends, welcome to our Lake Point Kids Online Family Experience. I'm Miss Rachel, and it's so nice you stopped by today. I was busy just arranging these flowers nicely in this vase. I'm going to give them today to my friend as a gift. She just had a baby. I still need to put together something for the baby though. What do you think I should do? Give the baby a soft, cuddly blanket or some ice skates? I hope you said the soft, cuddly blanket. Like this, the baby doesn't need ice skates. Plus, the baby could hurt themselves with skates. They're sharp and that's not safe. All right, what else should I give the baby? A cute and furry stuffed animal or a chocolate donut? Well, babies can't eat donuts, they just drink milk. So I hope you said the cute and furry stuffed animal. Hmm, maybe. Like this one. Now, what else should I give the baby? A little rattle to play with or a bike? If you said a little rattle to play with, then give yourself a pat on the back. Maybe a rattle like this. It sounds like you know a lot about babies already and how you need to be gentle around them. Well, today we have a story that talks about a very special time where Jesus showed gentleness to some very special people. Let's check it out now at the clubhouse.
And then I got to hold my baby cousin for real. She reached out her tiny little hand and grabbed hold of my finger so tight. And then my aunt said I could help give her a bath. I thought we would make super big waves to make her laugh. Splish, splash, we are taking a bath. But my aunt said she's not big enough for big splashes yet. That is too rough. We had to be so super gentle instead. I'm glad I got to practice gentleness with the feather first. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Being a bird today, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. No, I'm using this feather to remember to be gentle with my baby cousin. Gentleness is important. It's true. Jesus was gentle, and we all can be too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Aisha, welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my fancy feather cupcakes. I made them for my friend's party. Look at those feathers. Have you ever touched a feather? They are so soft and light and gentle, which is what today's story is about. If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus teaching a group of people. It was very exciting. Everyone wanted to talk to him. Talk to me, Jesus. Talk to me. Talk to me, the crowd said. Many parents brought their children to see Jesus. They wanted their children to be so close that Jesus could touch them. But when the little children went up to Jesus, Jesus' friends, the disciples, told the children to go away. The disciples were not being gentle. Do you know what the word gentle means? It's like when you're playing with a friend and they take your toy away. You can kindly ask for it back and not yell or use mean words. That's being gentle. In the story, were Jesus' friends being gentle? No, but Jesus was gentle. He said, wait, let the little children come to me. Jesus let them come right up to the front. He hugged them and was kind and talked to them. Was Jesus being gentle? <laughs> yes, and Jesus wants to help us be gentle too. Like when you're with a new baby, we need to be gentle with our hands and feet when we are around them. Or when your friends are playing with a puzzle, but you want to play something else. Instead of shouting your angry words, you can use gentle words and ask them to play something else. You use gentle hands so you don't hurt the baby, and you use gentle words so you don't hurt your friend's feelings. Jesus can help us choose to be gentle. Jesus can help us do everything. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was gentle with the children, and he can help us choose gentleness, too. Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Jesus was gentle and welcomed the children. Jesus can help me choose gentleness, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. Oh, hey, one of our painted rocks has a feather on it.
this can remind us to always choose gentleness. See you next time. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. John 14, 6. Wow, it must have been so exciting for those people to go and stand by Jesus and hear him talk. Lots of people were gathered around him to hear what Jesus had to say. Some moms and some dads sent their kids up to get really close to Jesus, but some of Jesus' friends, the disciples, didn't like that. They told the kids to stop it and to go away. Oh dear, that wasn't nice or kind or gentle, was it? Jesus told his disciples to stop and to let the little kids come closer to him. Jesus wanted to see the kids and talk to the kids and show them how much he loved them. Jesus was nice and kind and gentle with the kids and Jesus wants to help us be gentle too. Gentle with our hands, gentle with our words, and gentle in how we treat other people. Jesus can help us be gentle just like Jesus can help us do everything. Today friends, I want you to practice being gentle. Partner up with someone and sit across from each other on the floor. Then take a toy car and gently push the car back and forth to each other. Back up at different times to sit further apart, but still remember to be gentle with the car. Parents, now is the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Lake Point app to fill out our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you find a baby doll or a stuffy to try to rock to sleep? As well, feel free to enjoy our earlier Lake Point Kids online family experience episodes on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the Family Resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Remember, Jesus can help you do everything.